What's up, y'all? Dennis here, Dude All Garage. Um, just want to do a quick review on my power washer. I've had this thing, I would say, at least five years. It's a uh, Troy built 2700 max PSI, 2.3 gallon per minute power washer. Uh, it says it's got a Briggs and Stratton engine on it. This one right here. Okay, little connections are down there. Uh, the only thing I've ever had to do to this, I just for good measure, I changed the oil in it one time. And uh, I cleaned the carburetor out twice from it sitting up. You know, the carburetor got clogged, but I did. That's the original hose that goes to the gun right there. I, I did buy another gun and a, I believe it was a 36 inch lance is what they call it. It's an, basically an extension. The gun it comes with is okay if you're five and a half feet tall, but I'm six one and you know, got back problems reoccurring every once in a while. So I don't need to be leaning over when I'm trying to power wash something on the ground. So I went ahead and put that 36 inch extension on there and uh, I fit really good. It came with that handle on it. I can't remember what brand it is, but the uh, best ones I could find for the best price by far were at Northern Tool and Equipment. So I went to my local Northern Tool and got that and swapped it out. But anyway, this thing is, uh, other than when the carburetor got clogged up, which is a natural occurrence, there's nothing you could do about that. But it's it's run really well. I've been really impressed with it. Uh, my father-in-law has used it to clean boats and uh, uh, floating boat docks out on the lake up here in Lake Conroe. And uh, I've used it to wash my car, wash a lot of four-wheelers. I power washed my house with it probably two or three times and I've done my driveway and patio with it several times. So, uh, I'm actually out here today. It's a nice sunny day in, uh, January. I'm power washing a few rugs that, uh, we used to have in the house. We had some remodeling done, AC drip pan overflowed, caused some damage. So long story, won't really get into that, but we had to basically take everything out of the house and I ended up throwing these rolling these up and throwing them in my dirty old garage so they weren't smelling too good and I told my wife I'd power wash them on when I had a sunny day out so anyway that's what I'm doing but uh that's my review on it again it's uh I don't regret buying it for the money it was about 300 bucks um Again, it is only 2,700 PSI, which is, you know, plenty enough to clean mud off of your truck or four-wheeler side-by-side -side or power wash your house with it, whatever you want to do. But if you're wanting to run one of those, uh, like a driveway sweeper type thing that does, you know, 12 to 20 inches wide at a time, they kind of look like little lawnmowers. Uh, you're going to need a bigger one than this. This one isn't going to run one of those very efficiently. You're going to need at least, I'd say, 3,500 or up PSI and a higher gallon per minute. So, uh, But anyway, for again, for the money, I think it was about 275 300 bucks. I'm pretty sure I bought it at Lowe's. It's uh, It's been really good for the money, and I don't regret buying it. So if you're in the market and you don't plan on buying one of those uh, driveway cleaners, then... Uh, I would definitely consider this one. It's been great. So anyway, that's my review. Uh, if you like my channel, go ahead and click like and subscribe if you would. And uh, any questions or comments are welcome. Thanks a lot.